plus summarize like the key points now summarize let's do the summarization of key points here of uh, sd map like the major benefits and limitation so of course uh, this sd wan is like uh, controller based sd wan solution controller based and there is centralized management configuration monitoring and reporting agreed then seamless extension of wan why because wan is devices either don't require any configuration or very minimum configuration nominal very nominal configuration correct basically uh, gtp is like uh, stand for zero touch zero touch provisioning gtp so we will uh, call it gtp our cisco term is like pnp plug and play i have talked about like uh, uh, gtp and pnp in detail because we will cover that later on right so the step by step process bringing up like wan as device so i will start from like obtaining ip configuration contacting controllers and then authentication downloading configuration from the vman as all i will explain all that so for now you you can understand that seamless extension of wan and then and the important point here is like uh, this sd wan uh, fabric can be extended to cloud and you you must be aware uh, of that uh, nowadays uh, most of the companies organizations are uh, just using a uh, cloud like aws or microsoft or google cloud very extensively so uh, th there are some native applications in the cloud like uh, native applications like office 365 or salesforce and some other applications and even company hosted applications also right so instead of like putting servers uh, in house or on prem like uh, maybe the headquarter uh, most of the companies are, have started doing migration to the cloud in fact right so definitely uh, branches would have uh, proper uh, connectivity uh, to the cloud so for that is the in sd wan yes there is proper solution and uh, i mean like the branches can just be uh, directly uh, route traffic to the cloud and here also like we can create uh, 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 of course routing keeping in mind the performance and even we can also specify the application the native applications right if like uh, office 365 it uh, like reachable with minimum latency with the isp1 then prefer this one for another native application then use different is one of the way and the way like if you uh, have uh, understanding of this infrastructure as a service so you you can understand like infrastructure as a service like uh, and the leading provider public provi provider is aws so what we do we uh, just build our complete it infrastructure in the cloud itself i mean like we just create a virtual private cloud and then uh, different subnets and routing and then uh, there we uh, spin up ec2 instances even we can put a firewall over there also so now let's say i want to uh, manage this uh, it infrastructure uh, uh, deployed in the aws cloud uh, with the sd wan so can we have like uh, sd wan uh, 
virtual edge device here uh, in the VPC somehow so that we can extend our SD-WAN uh, like network to the cloud. Answer is yes, that is also possible. So not only for the software as a service, there's also solution for infrastructure as a service. And AWS is mainly known for this, like in providing infrastructure as a service. As a service, and infrastructure means like complete IT infrastructure, right? A replica of your uh, local IT or on-prem uh, data center, or maybe your internal IT, in fact. So same kind of like devices you can have in the cloud. I mean, like you can first like uh, have your uh, different subnets and then uh, internal routing, firewall solution, load balancer right complete solution even and if if you want to even deploy the same firewall i mean like the palo alto firewall for load balancer you want to put their f5 load balancer or maybe uh, citrix or some other windows solution you, you can do that right so of course aws itself provides uh, some uh, uh, native like load balancer and other uh, services at infrastructure but you are not convinced with that you are not satisfied with that you want to have like the same uh, vendor appliance in the cloud, you can do that. I mean, like you can build complete IT uh, network infrastructure in the cloud, but what if you want to manage them with your SD-WAN? What if you want to extend your SD-WAN network to the cloud? Will that be possible? Yes, that is possible. And uh, what about the security? I mean, like if uh, we, we, we configure like this direct internet access, I mean, like uh, as a uh, high level of uh, overview, what we have understood up to this point is like, uh, providing internet access to the branch office directly. I mean, like not uh, routing first packet to the headquarter and then to the internet. It means branches would have internet connection even to the cloud and of course to the internet directly. So what about the security part? Like, can we have some like uh, cloud-based security uh, provider associated with it? Yes, of course, uh, Cisco Umbrella is like Cisco solution. Uh, similar to the Zscaler, like the cloud hosted or cloud based uh, security, in fact, uh, similar to next generation firewall solution. So, yes, you, you can have, you want to uh, put a, a firewall there uh, at branch site, that is also uh, possible. And even in case, let's say one of the site has a firewall, or IPS, IDS, or any load balancer device here in one site only. Let's say it is headquarters or any other site, site uh, one, right? And here like the one edge device, branch one here, branch two. What we want, we want that branch one should first route packet to the this site and then from here to the firewall and then firewall should do the instruction here should check the traffic with the policy. If it is allowed, then the traffic should be again returned to the van device and then finally routed to the BR2. I mean, like what we want, we want to utilize this firewall service, right? So let's say one of the branch site has firewall, two other branches, they do not have. What we want, we want that both branches should uh, utilize this firewall service. So yes, it is also possible in SD-WAN and technically it is known as service chaining. This uh, site router will advertise its site uh, services offered by this site, that is firewall service, right? So what we do, we advertise this service that yes, this branch router or site router will advertise uh, this service. will tell everybody that yes, I have a firewall in my uh, local site, right? And what we will do, we will change routing policy also so that branches should have next to as this, not this one. So that first packet should be routed to this and uh, this routers or branch device should have, uh, of course, complete knowledge, understanding of the service, the firewall, so that uh, packets should be first sent to the firewall and then after doing inspection again return to the firewall and all that so it is also possible it is known as service chaining uh, so yes it is possible so sd WAN fabric can be extended to cloud even like another good feature here is what application aware routing application aware routing correct application aware routing so application aware routing is supported here and it is done very easily here in SD-WAN. 
in traditional network application aware routing of course not exactly application aware routing but yes uh, we can create service based uh, uh, routing with the help of route map i mean like if we want that uh, in traditional networking if we want that uh, a router has two different isp link isp1 and isp2 what we want we want that r1 this router should prefer isp1 for all web traffic right and dns traffic so yes can be done not very easily but can be done how with the help of route map first create a access list extended access list match traffic with the ip and destination port because in order to identify web or dns traffic what we can do here we can match traffic with the destination port if destination port is like udp port 53 then application will be identified as gns destination port 8443 or 8080 or some other ports as we specify in the acl then will be identified as web and then we need to call that acl in the inside this route map and once it is done right you match this and then set next hop or exit interface this then apply the policy to this router interface inbound so in this way yes uh application aware routing yes can be configured but it's not exactly matching the specific application here in router as such like there, there are no uh, list of applications like 1000 or 2000 applications at first place right and there is no easy way of doing all this what if you have 50 or 100 routers so of course that's not like uh, uh, easy to configure as so there is no way to uh, create a, a standard policy and then push it to all 50 or 100 devices right so very very difficult what about performance based routing configure performance based routing here it is very easily done right performance based oh, sorry routing pfr sort of thing in a uh, traditional networking yes can be done because in traditional networking also cisco uh, first started with the oer optimized as routing and then finally came up with performance based routing so yes performance based routing can be done in traditional network also uh, but again like uh, the same point individual configuration but here like a centralized can be done in very centralized manner from a centralized management server and here forwarding plane is decoupled from control and management plane and this of course already i have talked about this like it's a controller based solution controller based wan solution wan solution wide area network solution centralized management configuration monitoring already we have discussed this point seamless extension of wan hd wan fabric can be extended application aware routing and because like there is a application visibility here performance based routing uh, monitoring and reporting wise is very good because even we can have like a list of uh, commonly used applications top talkers and all that bandwidth utilization so forwarding plane is decoupled from control and management plane and then we talked uh, like uh, this point secure data and control plane and i i hope now you understand why there is secure data and control plane secure control plane because omp the control plane protocol runs inside dtls or tls tunnel that is secure tunnel why secure data plane because data for data traffic ipsec tunnel is used and we don't need to do any configuration for that we don't need to configure i like phase 1 phase 2 parameters and other stuff no not required at all so with without any configuration secure data and secure control plane right ipsec for the data and dtls for the control plane understood 
and many more. So now I hope you understand a benefit of software defined van. So why like uh, everyone is talking about SD WAN nowadays and Cisco is not the only vendor that is providing SD WAN solution there are other vendors also but of course in this training I will focus only on Cisco SD WAN solution. Alright.